Hey guys, so for today's look, I'm starting with my face ready to go. I put my foundation on off camera and now I'm just taking my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. This is an eyeshadow primer so it helps your eyeshadow stay on all day. Next I just set it with any translucent powder and then now I'm taking this light purple on a fluffy brush and I'm going to apply that over the crease and start building that color up. This palette is from BH cosmetics now this dark purple I'm gonna use to create a fake crease I am applying a little higher than my normal crease and then I'm gonna blend that out as well I realized that I should have put it a little higher just because my crease is literally right there so anyway um, now I'm taking the exact same brush with my soft ochre and I'm gonna cut the crease And then I'm going to intensify that line a little bit more and then blend it out. Now with this J-Cat glitter in gold and this Inglot pigment, I'm going to apply that on a synthetic brush. But first I'm going to spray it on so it really picks up the pigment and then lays it down where I cut the crease. Alright guys, so this is all about working with what you got, okay? I got this bag from last year's candy. It had little gummy balls in there. And I'm going to use that to add the shells on my face. I took all of this blue, mixed it all in, and then I started just blending away. Unfortunately, that didn't work. So I decided to take it off and then retry it again by using these little sponges and just dabbing the color instead of blending it in there. But that didn't work either. So then I remember that I had these little fishnets from back in high school. And since the lines are a little thicker, I just put it over my face and just started blending that color in there. And voila! It worked. My hair is all messed up. Anyway. So I'm adding some dark blue on the outer edges of the scales and some lighter blue on the inner corners. That way it seems more realistic because shading really does make a difference. And if you feel like you messed up, you can use a Q-tip to go over those lines so you can really distinguish where the scales are. And I'm just going to add some more scales on the left side of my face and then also add some shading as well. I added some random scales to the neck and my chest and now I'm just going to go and highlight my entire face. I added a quick coat of mascara Maybelline Colossal and now I'm taking these different shades of pink and I'm going to run that along my lower lash line. I found a pink mascara in my makeup stash so I applied that under my on my lower lashes and then I took the nude pencil from L'Oreal to add on my waterline. I also used that to intensify the scales on my face. I put some fake eyelashes on and then I set my face with the Fix Plus from MAC. And then for my lips, I was very indecisive of what color I should have done. I was using pink, purple, and then I ended up going with this really light purple from Melt Cosmetics. This is in the color by Starlight. When I first applied it, it was very chalky. I've had this for, I want to say since 2013, four years now. So maybe that's the reason why I felt so thick. But I ended up just outlining my lips with that. And then I went in with, I'm not sure if this is... Please Me or Faux by MAC and I just applied that in the center so it could look like an ombre and then I just placed some lip gloss right in the middle. Now I'm just going to take some rhinestones and some pearls and just apply them randomly along my face. I use some eyelash glue to stick them on but if you have spirit gum you can also use that. I just found that the eyelash glue is so much easier to work with and also to take off. Thank you. 
I decided to make a braid because this look looks better with your hair out of your face. Just threw on my quinceañera crown real quick and that completes the look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.